Welcome to Q&A software, the GST compliant accounting software for your company. In this video, I will be talking about customizing the format of reports in Q&A Optimum. I will be using invoice listing as an example. Now I will first show you the customization in the inquiry screen. First click on view variants and click on new view variants. Now let's give this customization a name. I will save it as invoice listing by salesperson and by category. Now let's select a date range to filter. Then click on inquiry. Here you will see all the invoice listing from the 1st of January 2011 to 31st January 2011. Now I will show you how to do grouping for these results. We will first group by salesperson or also known as agent. So I just need to drag the agent column to the grouping space. Now the results are grouped by salesperson. Let's say I would like to further group the results by category. However, there is no category column here. You can display the category by right-clicking on the column headers and select column chooser. You can now drag any fields to the report and here is the category field so just click on it to add to the report. If you are not able to find a specific field, you can click on the add button and you will be able to see more fields in here. Now drag the category column header to the grouping space and the results are now grouped by salesperson and by category. We can also save this report as HTML so you can attach it to your company's internal portal. And this is how it will look like. Or you can also save it as PDF file. Now I will show you how to sort the results in the report. Select the column that you want to sort by, then right click and select sort ascending or descending. In Q&A Optimum, you can have two layers of sorting as well. Press the control button on your keyboard and right click the other column that you want to sort with. For example, I want to sort with the two column. Notice the two up arrows that indicates which column is used to sort as well as in which direction. I can also change the sorting order to descending. Note that this report format is already saved and you can reuse this format for any inquiry in invoice listing. Now I will create another view variant called invoice listing by category area. Let me first clear off the grouping and the sorting of the previous variant. Then group by category and area. Now assuming that we would like to view the reports again, we can easily select which view variant we prefer. We can select the view variants from here. Now I will show you customizing in the report designer. Currently, there are three types of format to choose from. Now, let's say I would like to create an invoice listing by salesperson. Click on Design, select a template to work on, 
and then click on amend. In this invoice, I would like to sort the invoice by salesperson or also known as agent. Select the invoice number field. Then at the group and sort, select agent, agent number. Now at the group header, we should display the salesperson number. Select the field, then click on the small arrow at the top right corner. And in data binding field, look for agent. Agent number. Now let's save this format as invoice listing by salesperson. Let's preview the newly created report of invoice listing by salesperson. And this is how it looks like. All invoices are grouped by salesperson accordingly and further grouped by customer. Thank you for watching.